if you're an Indian, you're expected to love curry. If you're an Indian, you're expected to know how to drape a sari. If you're an Indian, you're expected to know fluent Hindi. And if you're an Indian, you're supposed to ace mathematics. That is how the world sees us, whether you like it or not. Math is supposed to flow in your blood. Sums are supposed to come naturally to you. We all know that it's far from true. Most of us run away from math. Indians are no exception. But there was one Indian to whom math did come naturally. Srinivas Ramanujan, he outnumbered mathematics, excelled in mathematical analysis, contributed immensely to the number theory, infinity series, continued fractions, theta functions, elliptic functions. To Ramanujan, math was as simple as ABC. He was self-taught and he was a genius. Today is his birth anniversary and this is his story. Flashback to 22nd December 1887. Ramanujan was born in a small town called Irod in erstwhile Madras. By the time he reached his teens, he, he was done solving every possible college level math problem. At 15, he started to develop his own theorems at home. At 26, he managed to send his work to Cambridge to a mathematician called G.H. Hardy. Ramanujan soon moved to Cambridge. He collaborated with renowned mathematicians there. He also worked on his own research and was subsequently elected to the London Mathematical Society. He was the first Indian fellow of the Trinity College. He conquered math, but succumbed to poverty. Years of malnutrition caught up with him. He frequently fell ill. At 29 years of age, Ramanujan was diagnosed with severe vitamin illness. He returned to India in 1919. He died in April 1920. He was only 32 years old. His life did not come a whole circle. And here is the tragedy. While India celebrates 22nd of December as National Mathematics Day, the country does not celebrate Ramanujan enough. For that matter, India does not celebrate enough its contributions to, to mathematics in general. It was Indian mathematician, astronomer Aryabhat, who discovered the value of the number zero. It was Indian astronomer Brahmagupt who introduced rules for solving quadratic equations. He invented the Fibonacci identity. He gave the world the sign table, the Pythagorean triples. Why don't we celebrate Brahmagupt enough? What about Bhaskara? He discovered modern calculus. Satyendranath Bose, C.R. Rao, P.C. Mahalanobis, Shakuntala Devi. The contribution of these Indian geniuses to mathematics is often ignored along with the subject. On India's National Mathematics Day, let me ask you some questions then, not maths questions. Why is it that most of us grow up with a phobia of math? Why is it that students feel sleepy just at the sight of a maths book? Why do students often score lesser in math compared to other subjects? Researchers say the phobia of math is acquired. From whom? Parents and teachers. Experts say that somehow students are conveyed the idea that math is difficult, that there's always just one answer. So you either get the sum right or wrong. Now, if you think about it, math is also seen as an IQ marker. A student who gets good grades in the subject is treated as a genius. A student who fails the subject, not so much. There are expectations attached to math. There's also rigidity attached to it. The result is this, mathematics anxiety. There is such a thing, yes. It causes physical symptoms and behavioral problems in class. It also damages a child's learning ability. The fear of math leads to low grades then develops into avoidance of maths and finally results in a knowledge deficit. According to a study, 93% of American adults experience some level of math anxiety, 93%. At least 1 million students in India suffer from it. According to annual status of education report, over half of the youth in the age group of 14 to 18 struggle to do simple class two level division. The good news is there is a solution to this problem. To pass the problem of maths, teachers, students and parents need to put an equal amount of practice and work. Experts say that maths needs to be shown as a learnable subject. Teachers should teach the subject in a more creative way, motivate students, 
not put down wrong answers, give young children open-ended problems. As for students, they must ask more questions, avoid panicking, focus on concepts and not exams, not mug up sums. Parents need to keep in mind that every child learns at his or her own pace. So do not overwhelm your child with expectations. Be involved in the learning process and don't stress on grades. Take National Mathematics Day beyond a social media trend. Take inspiration from the great mathematicians of India and try to overcome the fear of math. All the very best. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one. Thank you.